and right now at four, getting rid of TikTok. The U.S. House passed a bill today that would ban it in the U.S. if its Chinese owner doesn't sell. Charlie Wojciechowski helps us unravel this developing story. A day in my 40-something life traveling solo in Paris. Today was my last day. So Chicago and Jen White takes her TikTok followers with her when she travels the world. She's been watching the news of the potential TikTok ban and was not happy with the House vote this morning to essentially shut down the social media service. On this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65. It's a big loss for me. I've built a business out of this and I work with a lot of different brands. Um, I collaborate with a lot of local uh, businesses here in Chicago, national brands, restaurants, things like that. So for me, I mean, it's a loss of income. But TikTok has been in Washington sites for some time because of fears that its Chinese owner, ByteDance, could turn over sensitive data about its users to the authoritarian Chinese government, something the company said it would never do. Now, are there real privacy concerns? I mean, absolutely, and so I think we've got to take those seriously. Um, but I think instead of a ban, we should be working to ensure that the privacy concerns are actually met. In the U.S. alone, TikTok has more than 170 million users. It has encouraged them to lobby lawmakers to preserve the platform. TikTok changed my life and I'm here to tell my story. But politicians on both sides of the aisle have been concerned about China's growing influence and its potential as a U.S. rival. The bill, which passed this morning with bipartisan support for much of the Illinois House delegation, will move on to the Senate where its future is uncertain. Donald Trump, who originally supported the ban, is now signaling he may have changed his mind. President Joe Biden said he will sign the ban if it arrives on his desk. The state of our union is strong and getting stronger. Even though his campaign has been using the platform to get his re-election message out. Jen White says she hopes it doesn't go that far. For me, it really brought me closer to the Chicago audience and those in my age demographic. And it just, it shows you what you want to see. Now, the House bill does not ban TikTok, but it does make it difficult for them to operate. The hope is to put pressure on the company's owners to sell the platform or at least spin off its U.S. operations. Okay, so the big question here, Charlie, how would a ban work? They apply it to the app stores, not to TikTok itself. TikTok's a Chinese company. You can't really affect them. But you penalize Apple for putting the app up there. You penalize Google. They're the ones who would feel the pain. You kind of box them in a little bit. So if they do decide to sell... How does that work? And then who would buy this? It's a very expensive company because of all those users, 170 million users. So the thought is you don't sell the whole company, but you spin off the U.S. operations, perhaps use an IPO and sell it on the stock market and make the U.S. operation of TikTok its own entity. Interesting. We'll see how it all plays out. Thank you, Charlie.